everybody. Just doing some work here on the 2008 Sierra. Trying to refresh everything. Put in a two inch, excuse the ugly caliper, two inch lift kit. It's not really even a lift kit. It's more of a leveling kit. These things always tended to be a little droopy in the nose, so that's gonna push the front end up. But, uh, you know, just painted the control arm after getting all the rust off of it. And, uh, you know, stuff like that. Minor stuff, like took off the knuckle and powder coated it. Okay, so that was getting a little silly, but hey, one of these things, you're already there. But what I really wanted to point out was uh, if you've got a problem, which a lot of people do, with your uh, uh, your ball joint boots being ripped, maybe you've taken them off, and your uh, when the forks of your pickle fork go in there, you know you can rip the boot pretty easily. But what I found, this was just a pure experiment because they don't actually list them. Um, I'll put a link down in the description. But these are from Energy Suspension, hashtag not endorsed. No, that's not the word. Whatever, I'll fix this in post. Uh, so this is the upper ball joint, pretty obviously. Uh, I replaced the nut just because it was ugly and I had a prettier nut. But this is one of the energy suspension replacement ball joint booties. And this is the lower ball joint booty. Both of mine were ripped. This is also a new ball joint, which actually did come with its own, but it was blue and it didn't match. So, hey, put it in. But yeah, these are a perfect match. Uh, again, I'll put the part number down in the description. And uh, yeah, both the upper and the lower were a perfect match. Uh, Energy themselves didn't even have a listing for this vehicle. And this is just a guesstimate, but if you have a problem with your outer tie rod boot being ripped, that's the OE one. The Energy one should be pretty much a spot on fit for it as well. So they're cheap and it'll, uh, hey, if it keeps your ball joints living longer, especially the upper one, because you can't replace it. The bottom one is pressed in, the top one is it's part of the control arm so if your uh, top joint goes well that's it you're replacing the whole arm anyway uh, i just thought i'd share and uh that's about it later